Hello, welcome back to Phonics is Fun with me, Sarah Atherton, and my friend, Rusty the Rabbit. I'm a children's author and teacher, and in this video, we are going to practice our phonics. So today's sound, today's phoneme we are listening for is k. What's wrong? Rusty says, we've done two types of k already. What's this? Well, I'm glad you asked because this one is made up of two letters and it's just one sound. We call that a digraph. Can you say digraph? Okay, so this is what it looks like. When you write it, you need to make sure that those two letters are close together because they are part of the same sound. Okay, let's have a go at writing. So first of all, we write our curly k round. And then we write our kicking k. Remember that's a tall letter, so we start a bit higher up and forward and round and kick. So this is what k looks like. Have a little try of writing that at home. Now this type of k won't happen at the beginning of a word. It only goes at the end or in the middle of a word. So there's a little clue to help you when you're writing. It doesn't go at the beginning. Okay, so can we think of some words that have k in them somewhere, either in the middle or at the end? Remember, not at the beginning. Rusty, do you want to go first? Yeah, that's right. Sack, like Santa's sack. That's a really good one. Can you hear the k at the end? Sack. Really good. Okay, another one. Okay, good. Stick. Well done. Stick. So again, it's at the end of the word. Okay. Uh, one more. Rusty, why are you turning your back to everyone? Oh, funny. He said his word is back. Okay, very clever. Yes, that's right. There is a k at the end of back. Yes, you can stop laughing now. Honestly, sometimes not at all funny okay remember keep on looking around for other words that might have k at the end or in the middle and keep practicing writing them down and rusty and i will see you again soon and less of the cheekiness bye for now